as tensions between China and the United States escalate, the world watches with bated breath. But can China truly afford to engage in a full-scale war with the world's superpower? The numbers are stark. The United States enjoys overwhelming advantages over China with a GDP 60% larger, technological superiority and a military spending spree that dwarfs China's efforts. With the US having spent $19 trillion on its military since the Cold War, China's $3 trillion pales in comparison. Can the Middle Kingdom really afford to take on the world's superpower? The answer is quite simple. Still, we'll watch out for the one-to-one -one comparison. The United States has been in both conventional and unconventional wars on every continent. The US has been in five wars. World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, Panama, Grenada, and the first Gulf War, Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. The US troops can be sent anywhere on Earth with little notice. With military bases and dense allies in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, the US keeps the peace on a strategic level. After the Cold War, the United States became the most powerful country through the Ireland battle. The US is now moving its troops to the Indo-Pacific to get ready for a battle at sea or in the air. During the first Gulf War, the United States broke up Iraq's fourth largest army in the world. The army was very important and there wasn't much fighting between the US and Iraqi armies. Then what? China looked at the first Gulf War to learn about war today. China would be wiped out by the nuclear and conventionally stronger US forces in a full-scale war. China has never had to deal with an outside conflict or a full-scale war in modern times. The US and China are not as far along in technology as each other. They are not even close to being in the same league. The US sends combination of weapon systems, C4 ISR systems, a multi-domain network and integrated ship defenses is more dangerous than the PLA Navy's many subs and warships. There are 63 warships in the plan that are over 3,000 tons for a total of 447,000 tons. The US then has 120 warships for a total of 2 million tons. Eight planned vessels have 1,900 missiles in them, while the US then has 9,500 missiles on its warships. The way current wars go and what happens depends on C4 ISR capabilities, not the number of weapon systems used. When it comes to keeping track of and ranking planned goals, the US is way ahead of everyone else. On the other hand, the plan only has 22 C4 ISR planes, while the USN has 426. The US Navy and the Marines have a total of 2,448 fixed-wing aircraft and 1,249 helicopters. The plan has 441 fixed-wing aircraft and 118 helicopters. The USN has 11 aircraft carriers which can hold more than 800 airplanes and the plan has two aircraft carriers which can hold 70 planes each. Both the USN and the plan have the same number of submarines, but the USN's fleet is three times bigger and heavier than the plan's. It weighs 730,000 tons and is full of high-tech ships. The Block B is a Virginia-class ballistic missile submarine, and it is part of a deal for 11 submarines and will increase the number of Tomahawk cruise missiles that each submarine can carry by three times to 40. The US has its own military airlift headquarters and many deals with private logistics transport companies. The USA has 516 sites and bases in more than 80 countries spread out across 41 countries. The US spends $156 billion a year on 800 bases in other countries, while China spends $180 billion a year on defense. South Korea, Australia, Japan, Kuwait, and Qatar are some of the places where the US military has bases. They keep a million different types of weapons together, and the US military is stationed in 160 countries and has troops on the ground in more than 15 of them. The USN has 31 fast battle supply ships that weigh a total of 1.29 million tons. The plan, on the other hand, only has 12 supply ships that weigh a total of 330,000 tons. China has about 200 warheads, and that number is likely to double in the next 10 years. The United States, on the other hand, has about 4,000 better nuclear warheads and 1,600 strategic weapons. The US keeps updating its nuclear weapons, which are already much more powerful than what is needed for a nuclear attack on China in response. At Guam, the USAF has sent fighter planes. 
such as F-15, F-16 and F-22, bombers B-1 and B-2, and planes that refuel other planes. Moreover, the USAF Rapid Raptor program can send F-22s anywhere in the world in just 24 hours. 45 missile interceptors in Alaska and California are kept by the USAF in concrete bunkers. Also being built in the US is the next generation stealth bomber B-21, which will make its first flight in 2022. The next generation long-range standoff stealth cruise nuclear missile and the JASM AR conventional cruise missile will be on the B-21. The network of US relationships around the world has increased safety, maintained stability and avoided conflicts. China is scared off from the Indo-Pacific area by the US's forward military presence and its work with its regional allies. The United States is in charge of NATO and also protects Japan and South Korea below. There are 29,500 US troops in South Korea and another 45,000 US troops in Japan. The Quad exercises bring together democracies in the Indo-Pacific that want to protect a rules-based order from the danger of China. The US also works with Australia, the Philippines, Thailand, India, Singapore, Indonesia and Vietnam on a strategic level. And the head of the US Third Fleet told reporters that 10 countries are taking part in US military drills while China's exercises are likely only involving less than two countries. Should China strike the United States, NATO will step in directly under Article 5, just like it did in the Afghanistan war in 2001. Military power in China was ranked 5th in 2020 by Major General Jiang Xiaozong of the People's Liberation Army after the US, Russia, Britain and France. Planned surface power was ranked 8th after Japan and India. With only 7 fighter planes and high-end drones, the People's Liberation Army Air Force was ranked 7th in the world. General Xiaozhong thinks China won't become the world's second largest military power until 2049, when it will have been around for 100 years. We have a way to learn analytically in the US, but China does not. The US military has drawn and written down a lot of what they have learned in the form of doctrines, tactics, techniques and processes. From as early as the Boxer Revolution in the China campaign, the US military has kept records of what it has learned. Great military leaders in the US have included George Marshall, Dwight Eisenhower, George Patton and David Petraeus. China on the other hand has never had any very good military leaders. The world doesn't send its military leaders to China's military colleges but to US military schools. Mao's idea that a weaker opponent should fight a stronger opponent by lying to them is what the PLA strategy is based on. China can't fight symmetrical wars so its only choice is an asymmetric approach. Books like Science of Military Campaigns, Science of Military Strategy and Unrestricted Warfare were written by Chinese experts, but China hasn't been able to turn the methods and tactics in these books into a set of rules that can be followed. A superpower stands out because it can spread its power. China has tried to use its economic power to get US allies and partners in the Indo-Pacific area to side with it, but its efforts have not been very successful. Examples include the Charm Offensive and the Belt and Road Initiative BRI. China doesn't have a world rage because it doesn't have any defense treaties with other countries or military bases abroad. China can't go beyond the range of its planes, warships and subs without refueling. US carriers that are driven by nuclear power can rule the seas for four years before they need to be refueled. China's aircraft, which isn't driven by nuclear power, can barely work outside of its green waters. In general, the US military is the best in all areas of war. Strategic, tactical and operational. Advanced battle management system, project convergence and joint all-domain command and control are some of the high-tech network battle programs that the Pentagon is putting in place. China is worried about the US military, which is deadly and spread out and has a powerful mix of high quality and high quantity weapons. The USN is better than the plan at quickly deploying, maneuvering and going on expeditions to fight. Since 1945, the US has shown its overwhelming military power, which is a real deterrent for Beijing. The United States has shown since the first Gulf War that it can destroy an enemy by attacking first with long range weapons like cruise missiles in the first few days of a war, leaving no time for the enemy to fight back. 
So here's the comparison between both countries. Do tell us in the comments what you think about how China could compete US and also subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this.